cut out by the balls and they look again to build and start the back a bit of a foul again oh, on that far hand side and that just a little bit reckless there from Yellowman balls played into the middle it's a goal well out of nowhere Bulls played in and Lorne Bingley breaks the deadlock. It's 1-0 to the Bulls. Well, it nearly caught us all napping there. All of a sudden, ball was played in very quickly and Bickley unmarked and he, no chance for Ashdown. First touch and it's 1-0. Lorne Bickley the scorer. Oh, nice play there, good finish. Just into the 17th minute here, and it's now Jersey Bulls 1, Ascot United 0. The first real chance, you'd say, of this first half. Falls to Lorn Bickley, and he makes absolutely no mistake. They now look to build, and it's Ellis who plays it to lock. But again, good pressure here. Tobin very quick across, and Cardwell as well. So the ball's playing quite high. Not a Bit of a press and a miss kick in the middle and it falls to Mendes. And then he gets caught, but it's come to Johnny LeCain. Johnny LeCain tries to fend it through. Here it comes now though to Cardwell. And he scores! <laughs> Harry Cardwell. Well, the ball just somehow found its way. Miss kick in the middle originally uh, by the Yellowman. And the ball found its way through to Cardwell. Cardwell just had a little look up, saw Ashdown and slots it past him on the right-hand side of his of his box. Well, it's been coming, hasn't it? The first goal came in the 17th minute and the ball falling to Cardwell there, just coming into the 23rd minute. And it's 2-0 to Jersey Bulls. McCormack now is being urged forward by his number four, Tucker. Ball's played in. Ooh, good header by J James Kerry, the skipper does well there. Two bearing down on that one, on that far side. Looked like it was Sapanu in the middle there. Just, but here we come the balls again. Ascot giving it away, and here's Mendes again. He's got support here. He's got Stevens on the left. He's got Bickley on the right. Bickley gets in the box, takes a shot, and he scores. Lorne Bickley under pressure from Bowers there. So the options were available for the pass from Mendes. He had. Stevens to his left, he had Bickley's to his right, and Bickley just managing to get the shot off as the challenge from Bowers comes in. Sends Bickley to the ground, but he does enough and it goes in to the far corner. And the Bulls now take a 3 0 lead in this second half. Breaking the play up really well in the middle here, being able to control this midfield. Pretty much been doing that most of the game, and Lumsden does well under the pressure. He gets pushed to the ground though by Matthew, nothing given, and then Mealing under pressure though, this time from Kilshaw. Edge of the box. Lula Stami, he's got support. Coming down the side, ball comes in, crossed in the back post, can he get them a Cormac? And it's a goal, is it? It is. Well, it's a tap in at the end at the far post. It looks like we just check if that's August who gets a touch on it. I think it probably is, and it ball just finds its way across to the back post, a little bit of a, I don't know, a mistake or just a, just a bit of switching off there at the back. And in the end, it's just an easy tap. And in fact, just checking if that was Matthew. I think it might well have been Matthew who actually gets the goal and it's gonna be 3-1 and the bullpen make it known that they're not particularly happy with that goal. Uh, was there a foul there? Not sure, but nevertheless, it's now Bulls three. The Yellowman of Ascot won. Players are going to be pretty tired after this sapping energy day from the glorious sun here at Springfield. Clear skies, a little bit of a nice breeze though, which has probably just kept it a little bit cooler for the players. As here come Ascot again. And it's McCormack. Plays it across into the middle there for Toby Thompson, who's come on, the number 12. Thompson, though, has lost it, and here now comes Johnny LeCain. Johnny LeCain has got Mavalo. Mavalo's got chance now. He's got Tucker coming, but he's just got to keep it in first, Mavalo. He does well in the far corner. Plays it in now. Johnny LeCain again. JJ Lloyd. 
crosses the ball in and on the far side unmarked it's Trotter who heads it back in and then a nodded header and it's there Toby Ritzema just reacts quickest he does enough to get in front of the keeper and nods it home well it's 4-1 to the Bulls the three goal cushion is restored it didn't take much in terms of time to bring the score back to a three gap really good work there and Ritzema reacts well and has just in the end an easy header but he was there quick enough and it allows the Bulls to re-establish their lead this time now 4-1